Hello everybody, Derek here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to use KDE Plasma Mobile in VirtualBox. Before I get started, I really need to understand I really need to uh, to make sure that I don't understate this. KDE Plasma Mobile in the desktop, especially on VirtualBox, is very buggy. It's going to look weird. You might not even be able to get it to run. It's in extreme alpha phases, I've heard. And uh, these are daily builds, so please, please make sure that uh, when you're using this, you don't expect a full experience with it uh, because it's probably not going to work that great. But it's a proof of concept, and if you want to check it out, see what it's like so you can get it installed on your phone because we actually do have a guide for that. Uh, this is how you would go about doing that. So to start off, please check the description for the article. We have the download links for the ISO as well as the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, which you need to use for this guide. So once you've got VirtualBox, you need to get to images.plasma-mobile.org slash ISO, and you need to download the latest ISO. Now, it's important that you download the one on the top with the, uh, excuse me, it's important that you download the one with the most recent date, because that is going to be the one with the most fixes, I guess. So start the download, and uh, once it's ready to go, you can make a new VM with it. Once the image is done downloading, you'll need to open up VirtualBox, click the New button, and uh, to start off, you'll need to go through and select Linux, and then under Version, uh, you can select other Linux 64-bit. Then just type in KDE Plasma Mobile. Go to Next. Now, we need to give it more RAM, and now, don't give it an insane amount of RAM. If you can't afford more RAM than 512, then keep it that way. But the more RAM it has, the better it's gonna perform. I generally give my VMs at least two gigabytes. Now the hard drive space doesn't really matter because again, this is a live image. We're not actually installing it. Um, otherwise you could specify that. So just go through and uh, click the buttons to get past this and then click start to open up the VM chooser dialog. So from here, you'll need to click this button here and then look for the dev edition. You'll notice I've got two ISOs, but I've got the latest version and then I can browse for it and click the start button and then KDE Plasma Mobile should instantly start up. Now, as I said, this is a proof of concept, but this is exactly how you run it under Linux. Uh, if there was an installation dialog inside of the Plasma Mobile thing itself, you would be able to easily uh, install it. And in uh, in general, it's just an Ubuntu 16.04 base that'll be that it's running off of with all the KDE Mobile technologies on top of it. But it goes through its startup session uh, setup or whatever. And once it gets there, you'll see this is just KDE Plasma Mobile. We've got the uh, calamari's thing which i don't really know what that means but you've also got the camera you've got all these individual apps there's discover and it's a phone os uh you guys it's uh it's very buggy as you can see <laughs> but it works so if you're curious as to what kde plasma mobile looks like this is how you run it i uh am i started this app and i'm waiting for this to open <laughs> not quite sure what it's doing but you get the idea. Um, maybe you'll have better luck than I do. Uh, my best uh, advice to you guys is to go to the disk image place every couple of days if you're really interested in each, which, with each release of an ISO, it's gonna run better. Like when I first checked this out a couple days ago, it wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to see these little apps here and now I can. So it's getting better with every release. So guys, uh, just a quick video on how to run KDE Plasma Mobile under Linux uh, in a VM. I will see you in the next one.